The Pearl of Africa, Uganda. There are eight planets in our solar system. The Earth is the most beautiful and habitable with seven continents. Africa being the continent where I come from, it is always a pleasure to introduce to you the Pearl of Africa. Uganda, my motherland. Once again, I welcome you back to my YouTube channel as I take you through the country Uganda. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uganda is a landlocked country in East Africa with a population of 43 million people as in 2018. Uganda is bordered by Kenya in East, Democratic Republic of Congo in the West, South Sudan in the North, Tanzania in the South, and Rwanda in Southwest. Her landscape comprises of hills, tropical forests, waterfalls, lakes, snow-capped mountains, rivers, hot springs, and tracts of the savanna grasslands. Uganda has several ethnic groups cutting across the Baganda, Banyankole, Iteso, Langi, Bagisu, Lugbala, Basoga, Bachiga. In East Africa, Uganda is the third largest country compared to Tanzania, the largest. 15% of Uganda's 241 kilometers squared is covered by water bodies. The country is symbolized by a cope representing the abundance of wildlife and the crested crane, the country's national bird. Black, yellow, red are the colors of the national flag. English and Swahili are the national languages. Kampala is the capital city of Uganda, the beauty of Uganda. Number one, water bodies. Uganda is a home to the world of fresh waters, lakes, and rivers. And Lake Victoria is the fourth largest in the world. The lake was renamed Lake Victoria after Queen Victoria by explorer John Huntington Speak. Lake Albert, Lake Choga, Lake George, and River Nile, which is the longest river in the world. These have been habitats of millions of wild water species, from crocodiles, hippopotamus, to tilapia fish, and Nile perch, which are Ugandan's fish delicacy. If you have ever visited Uganda, one shouldn't exit the country without going bank jumping or rafting on the Nile through the beautiful natural rocks and rapids of the river Nile. Number two, birds and animals. The Pearl of Africa has been blessed with 1,061 bird species. For example, the crested crane, the kingfisher, nectars, swallows, and many others. These have attracted over a entire million of tourists who go for birding. Not only birding, Uganda being a tropical country has thousands of wild animals that the country has tried to preserve through its national park like Queen Elizabeth and Mansion Falls National Park. Animals such as elephants, lions, giraffes, zebras, buffaloes, hippos, a variety of chameleons, impalas, and the most visited, the gorillas. The climate. The climate in Uganda is tropical warm with temperatures falling in the range of 25 to 29 degrees Celsius. And the, the months from December to February are the hottest, but even during these evenings, the temperatures can be chilly between 17 to 18 degrees Celsius. 
and the rain season are from March to May and September to November. This explains the country is rich in food. Number four, the food. Having different ethnic groups, this explains the wide range of food variety Uganda has. Uganda uses its own food prepared in specific recipes to explain its culture. For example, all wombo. This is atypical for traditional weddings known as kwanjula like matoke, kalo, yams, gonja, sweet potatoes are very delicious and enjoyable on daily dinings in Uganda. One shouldn't exit without testing Uganda's food. The Rolex. When you hear of a Rolex worldwide, your mind will run to the wristwatch brand. But in Uganda, a Rolex is a fast snack that is found in all corners of the country's streets. Fast, easy, affordable, and delicious. Number five, the people. With a population of 43 million people, Uganda is growing at a fast rate with 77% of its population being under the age of 25 years. Hello, young man. Hello. What's your name? Ezekiel Mtesastra. And? Esther Mtesastra. Where are you from? Uganda, Kampala. The people are friendly, calm, and social. That makes her lovely and interesting to visit. 85% of the population can communicate in both English and Swahili. That means the service provision and access is made reliable. With a high dependence rate, this justifies the reason why most of the country's urban centers are highly populated in search for jobs and a better future. This explains the hard work and what others have. The culture is quite open. It allows intermarriages between tribes and other nationalities. There is freedom of worship that embraces all religions. Number six, transport. Means of transport recommended in town. Most cars in Uganda are right-hand drive cars with manual transmissions. While the law requires to drive on the left side of the road, loads can be logged, especially in Kampala and Entebbe. Matatus, private-owned minibuses loaded with people and goods, can often have a reckless driving style. Along the roads, there are ped pedestrians and cyclists that may be crossing, so one has to take care. While driving on the roads of Uganda, in the city centers and suburbs, traffic during these peak hours can be irritating, so one is recommended to use motorcycles known as Boda Bodas. These are relatively cheap and can make it to maneuver through the traffic. Number seven, the economy. Have you thought of investing in Uganda? Uganda's economy is an emerging economy with a GDP of 27.46 billion USA dollars as per 2018 financial year and a GDP per capita of 642.78 US dollars. Uganda has over a time grown its economy and attracted foreign direct investors to invest in its diverse economic sectors. Agriculture accounts for a large share of Uganda's export earnings. Exporting products such as coffee, cotton, tea and tobacco. With industrial sector being limited in the hands of a few Ugandans, industrial sector is filled with a small scale farms that have limited a value addiction, although with a high growth potential. The discovery of oil in the Lake Albert Gulf and gold in Karamoja, Uganda's economy could take a different twist. And at last, the currency. Uganda trades in its official currency known as the Ugandan shillings with the lowest banknote of 1,000 and the highest 50,000. She has other denominations in forms of coins ranging from 50 to 500. 
Uganda's banking sector has been effective and involving over a period of time one can make payments through the use of a MasterCard, Visa, PayPal and with introduction of mobile money banking. Transactions in Uganda are made easy, effective and accessible just by a click using your mobile phone app. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this acts as an eye-opener to you to venture into the pearl of Africa, Uganda. Leave us a comment below on what you know about Uganda. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Much love, Violet Inspires.